here to celebrate a remarkable milestone in our district's journey. It is with immense pride and excitement that we gather to officially open our newly remodeled school facilities and our brand new soccer pitch. My name is Jody Megerly, Superintendent of River Trail School District 26, and I am joined by our school board president, Mr. Bill Grimpy. The enhancements we've made to Euclid Elementary School reflect our commitment to creating a vibrant, engaging, healthy environment where our students can learn, grow, and flourish. The remodeled spaces are designed not just to accommodate, but to inspire, providing our students with the best possible setting to explore their passions and achieve their dreams. And what a fantastic addition, our new soccer pitch. It's more than just a field. It's a place where teamwork, perseverance, and school spirit will come alive. We have seen and will continue to see countless memorable moments here. Games, practices, and events that will bring us all together in the spirit of fun and camaraderie. Today we celebrate not just new buildings and facilities, but the continued growth and success of our school community. Here's to new beginnings, to the excitement of learning and the joy of coming together as one. We want to extend a heartfelt thank you to everyone who made these projects possible. Our dedicated staff, generous donors, and all the people who worked tirelessly to turn this vision into reality. Their support and enthusiasm have been truly invaluable. Specifically, I would like to thank Danny Martinez for approaching the district with the vision of putting up a community soccer pitch at Euclid School. The Village of Mount Prospect and all the staff for their partnership on the soccer pitch. Together, we were able to work through funding, paperwork, grants, and so much more. This truly would not have been possible without your hard work. I'd like to thank and recognize the former and current members of the River Trail School District Board of Education for the time and dedication allocated to both of these projects. It is wonderful to see the end result of several years of planning and preparation. A special thank you to our former Assistant Superintendent for Business Services, Lyndall Schuster, who was the driving force behind a healthy school environment for our students. I know it is virtually impossible to thank each and every staff member, but I do want to thank and recognize the hours of preparation the staff at Euclid Elementary School put in, in preparation for construction, and then to prepare for students to arrive. It was a very tight turnaround. Specifically, thank you to the principal of Euclid, Karen Daly. Karen, your leadership. Your leadership during this time has been truly inspiring. Navigating the complexities of such a large scale project while ensuring minimal disruption to the daily operations of our school is no small feat. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed and the positive outcome is a testament to your perseverance. Also thanks to Dan Whistler. Dan Whistler, our Director of Buildings and Grounds, our construction firm, Nicholas and Associates, who are over here, who kept the project moving. Dylan Haas and Marty Folan, as well as our architect FGM, Troy, Michelle, and Celeste, who designed a beautiful renovation you will all get to see in just a moment. Finally, to the community, we know that building projects can bring challenges, including noise, disruptions, and adjustments to daily routines. Your cooperation and support during this period have been invaluable and greatly appreciated. Thank you. It is my pleasure to welcome Mayor Paul Hofer to the podium to share a few words. Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be here today um, you know, we approved the soccer pitch, what, about a year ago, year and a half ago? Year and a half, yep. And I thought, this is fantastic. You know, another activity for the kids, a great facility, um, and Euclid School already is a great facility and has great facilities, and this just is additive to that. Uh, and to the neighborhood. You know, um, we think, we don't really think this, but we think people move here because of the great municipal government, right? <laughs> And the great mayor, right, Vince? Of course. Yeah. We all know that isn't true. I'll tell you why they move to this town. They move here because of the education that their kids can get. And Euclid School, um, District uh, 26, big part of that. 
I mean, Euclid School has been a mainstay in this community, for, I don't know, what, 50 years, 60 years? A long, long time, and it just is getting better, right? And that's why people move to this community. Um, all of our districts are top notch. And I can tell you as mayor, I couldn't be happier, but uh, for the quality education that our kids are getting, it's incredible. So uh, make no bones about it. We have an incredible educational structure throughout this town, and we're blessed with that. And this, the soccer pitch and the rest, is icing on the cake, right? So I thank you for pushing forward on this. Um, and getting this all done, and I can't wait to see the inside of the building because I haven't been in yet, but um, this is fantastic. So congratulations, and um, we look forward to another 50 years, right? A really important player today is Danny Martinez, and I'm going to invite him up to have, say a few words with our community uh, relative to the soccer pitch. What a special day this is. Uh, this all started three years ago, and after many emails, calls, meetings, speed bumps, setbacks, and challenges, the day to celebrate is here. What a happy day it is. Uh, this day would not have been possible without so many. Uh, thank you, Mayor Hufford and, uh, and trustees for your yes a year and a half ago. Uh, it's, it's crazy to think how, how quickly time has passed and everything that's come of that. Uh, thank you, Principal Karen Daly, and Euclid School Dan Whistler, of course, uh, Lindell, the president and the board of D26 as well. Thank you so much for dreaming with me uh, all along. This is a result uh, of all of that. Uh, thank you, Antonia and Village of Mount Prospect uh, as well for going above and beyond and, and working hard to secure the grants. Thank you, Lori and JSD for all the work behind the scenes. Uh, thank you, Ed and E. e. Hoffman and Martin Murillo for literally assembling it together. Uh, it would have taken another two years if I was putting it together. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much for, for everybody who did that. Uh, thank you to the community of Boxwood for being the home for me and my wife uh, for the two years of the duration of this project. Uh, and thank you for all of your words of, of encouragement. Thank you to everybody from this community uh, and nearby who, who supported for uh, and prayed for this project, including many from the Bridge Community Church and, um, and the businesses uh, nearby. Thank you to my wife, Laura, who's, who's here right now, uh, my parents and my siblings as well for speaking life when this project seemed gone, uh, for picking me up after every no and after every setback. Uh, and finally, last thing, I promise I'll be quick. <laughs> finally, as a person of faith, I, Danny Martinez, want to thank the author of this project. Toda la gloria a Dios, all glory to God who makes the impossible happen. To his son Jesus who loves me, gave his life for me, the one who told me in March 2021, go build a field, crazy man. <laughs> uh, this is a miracle, so thank you all for being a part of this miracle. I'm Karen Daly, I'm the principal of this amazing place, and what an exciting time for our school and our community. Um, I'm not gonna cry, let's look at my staff. Uh, those who spoke before me so eloquently thank dozens of people and groups who are here today and who help make this building what it is inside, um, meet the heart of the people who live inside it every day. Um, help make the soccer pitch a place for our children and even adults to come and play together. They're there right now. And they're not there because of us, they're there because that's what they do every night after school and all day Saturday and all day Sunday. Um, I am here just as a school principal honored to serve this community. So now we have Connections Field to bring us together to this beloved game of soccer and now our school presents in a way that upholds the respect, responsibility, and readiness to learn our children and staff bring to school every day. Euclid is a home away from home, and it's a home away from home inside and out, and the children of our community deserve nothing less. So thank you so much, everybody. And before we cut the ribbon and head inside, a few managerial things. Uh, you will be given a map, if you haven't already, to follow your own self-guided tour in the building. So please just walk around and enjoy the beautiful spaces. Um, also, while you're inside, please respect that the teachers are not yet available to chat until this curriculum night starts at 6. Um, they're just hanging out like you, and you're here to tour this amazing place. If you're making use of childcare tonight for our curriculum night, please bring your school-age children to the main gym after 5.50, 10 to 6, 
um, special guests for the ribbon cutting who are joining us this evening. Um, you're invited to a meet and greet in the cafeteria while our curriculum night is taking place. And finally, for our families, our curriculum night does begin at 6 o'clock promptly, so please find your way to your eldest child's homeroom uh, to start the evening by 6 p.m. And without further ado, and with so much gratitude, let's cut the ribbon. scissor yes. photo first. So can everyone please look at my camera? Yes. Smile. Okay, and then... Are you doing the backup photo? <laughs> We're good. Always. Please look at this phone. <laughs> And then, do you guys want pictures where they're looking at your I'm yeah. good. Okay. Can we do a drum roll? Oh, go ahead. Okay. One more. Can we do one more for journal and topics, please? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All right. We need sound. Ready? We are ready. <laughs> All right, we're going to count back to three. Perfect. Three, two, one. 